Good morning everybody, welcome to Long Sutton Primary School's first quiz. Hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, welcome to Long Sutton Primary School's first ever online quiz, hosted by me, Mrs Clark. I hope you enjoy playing along with your family. In order to join in with this quiz, you will need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil to record your answers with. Today's quiz consists of five rounds. Please feel free to pause this clip at any time in order to give yourself extra time to record or consider answers. But please don't cheat by asking Google or Alexa for any help. I'll give the answers for each round at the end of each round so you can total up your own score as we go along. Please remember, this quiz is just for fun. Good luck! Question 1. What is the name of this move? What is this move called? Question 2. Which athletic sport am I acting out? Which athletic sport was that? Question three. What is this called? What type of jump is this? Question number four. In which sport would you hear the words love, juice and advantage? In which sport would you hear the words love, juice and advantage? And question number five. In what year did London host the Summer Olympics? That was, in what year did London host the Summer Olympics? That brings us to the end of round one. Pause or re-watch if you need any extra time. Are you ready to go through the answers? The answer to question one. The first move that I did is called a burpee. A burpee. Question number two. I was in fact acting out the javelin. Javelin. Question three. I was doing a star jump. A star jump. Question number four. The words love, juice and advantage are all used in a game of tennis. They are always used for scoring tennis. Question number five. I was expecting the answer 2012. London hosted the Summer Olympics in 2012. Some of you may have also done some of the previous times that London hosted the Olympics. They were 1908 and 1948. The main answer I was looking for was 2012. Well done for completing the sports round. Question number one. The Mr Men collection of books are very popular. My favourite character as a child was Mr Tickle. What colour is Mr Tickle's hat? So the question is, what colour is Mr Tickle's hat? A character from the Mr Men books. This book was released as part of this year's World Book Day celebrations. It's called The Day We Met the Queen. This book is a spin-off from which well-known children's story? So my question is, what is the name, the title of the book that was inspired to write this one? This is a spin-off from which book? Question number three. In the story of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is the surname of Charlie and his family? In the story of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is the surname of Charlie and his family? Question number four. This is the front cover of the first book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. 
My question is, what is the name of the second book in this series? Here is the first book. What is the title of the following book? Question number five. I'm going to read a short extract from The Gruffalo. You need to tell me which two words are missing. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a something something at the end of his nose. What are the two missing words that I did not read out? OK, so let's go through the answers to this round. Question number one. Mr Tickle wears a blue hat. A blue hat. Question number two. The Day We Met the Queen is a spin-off from The Boy at the Back of the Class. The Boy at the Back of the Class. In question three, I asked you what is the surname of Charlie and his family. Their surname is Bucket. Charlie Bucket. Question four. In the Harry Potter series, the first book was The Philosopher's Stone. I asked you for the name of the second book. It is, in fact, The Chamber of Secrets. The Chamber of Secrets. And the final question for this round were the missing two words in the extract I read from the Gruffalo. I was looking for the words poisonous wart and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Thank you for joining me for this round. Let's see what's next. There are seven questions in this round. Question number one. What is the capital of Italy? What is the capital of Italy? Question two. Where would I be travelling if I had the currency Zloty? Which country would I be visiting if I had the currency Zloty? Question three. How many continents in the world are there? How many continents in the world are there? For a bonus points, can you name the seven continents? Pupils in years five and six should confidently know the answer to these. Question four. What is the capital of Thailand? What is the capital of Thailand? Question five. What continent is Brazil in? What continent is Brazil in? Again, another question aimed specifically for years five and six. Question six. What is the biggest country in the world? What is the biggest country in the world? And question seven. What is the longest river in the world? What is the longest river in the world? Here are the answers to the geography round. Question one. Rome is the capital of Italy. The answer is Rome. Question two. Poland would be the country I was travelling to to spend Zloty. The answer is Poland. Number three. There are seven continents. The answer is seven. And those of you there after the bonus points, the seven continents are, in no particular order, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, South America, North America and Australia, also sometimes called Australasia. Question four. What is the capital of Thailand? The capital is Bangkok. Bangkok. Question five. Uh, Brazil is in South America. The answer is South America. Question six. The largest country in the world is Russia. The answer is Russia. 
And the final question, question seven, the longest river in the world is the River Nile. The River Nile is in fact 1,258 miles long. I hope you enjoyed that round. Welcome to round four, the general knowledge round. Question number one. Which colours make up the Italian flag? Which colours make up the Italian flag? Question two. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, as used by the police, what word represents the letter C? In the NATO phonetic alphabet, what word represents the letter C? For example, A is alpha. Question three. In Toy Story 4, who creates Forky? Who creates Forky in Toy Story 4? Question 4. What is Linguini a type of? What is Linguini a type of? And the final question for this round. Question 5. What is the name of the tiger on a box of Frosties? What is the name of a tiger on the box of Frosties? Here are the answers to the general knowledge round. Question number one. The colours on the Italian flag are green, white and red. That's green, white and red. Question two. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, which word represents the letter C? The answer is Charlie. Charlie. Question 3. The character Forky in Toy Story 4 was created by Bonnie. Bonnie. Question 4. Linguini is a type of pasta. The answer is pasta. And question 5. The tiger on a box of Frosties is called Tony. The answer is Tony or Tony the Tiger. This is the final round, the history round. It is based on questions that should be learnt throughout Key Stage 2 at Long Sutton Primary School. Good luck. Question number one. Why did Britain declare war on Germany at the start of World War II? Why did Britain declare war on Germany at the start of World War II? Question 2. What was the Roman name for London? What was the Roman name for London? Question 3. The Tudor rose is made up of which two colours? Which two colours make up the Tudor rose? Question 4. In ancient Egypt, which animal was considered to be sacred? Which animal was considered to be sacred in ancient Egypt? And the final question for today's quiz. What language was used by the Romans? What language was used by by the Romans. Let's get ready to go through the answers. So here are the answers for the history round, round five. Question number one. Uh, because they invaded Poland. Britain declared war on Germany because Germany invaded Poland. Question number two. The Roman name for London is Londinium. Londinium. Don't worry about how you spelt it. Question three. The colours in the Tudor rose are red and white. Red and white. Question four. In ancient Egypt, the animal that was considered to be sacred was the cat. The answer is the cat. And question five. The language that was used by the Romans is Latin. The Roman use the language Latin. Well done for making it to the end of the quiz. Um, now you can total up your score. 
there are maximum points um, totalling up to 27, although you may have achieved some bonus points along the way for the name of the continents. Hopefully I didn't make any errors in creating the quiz, although it is a possibility. If I have, please forgive me, it is meant to be just for fun. Please let us, know, let us know how you get on with your quiz. You can ask an adult in your family to post a comment to us on our Twitter page or you could add it to the details on your Purple Mash class blog. If this proves popular as a bit of enjoyment for the family, I might even be persuaded to record another. Take care. Bye.